In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 7, Jesus says in the Sermon on the Mount, and everything do to others as you would have them do to you, for this is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road is easy that leads to destruction, and there are many who take it. For the gate is narrow and the road is hard that leads to life, and there are few who find it. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruit. Are grapes gathered from thorns or figs from thistles? In the same way, every good fruit, every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. Thus, you will know them by their fruits. Now, this passage is a part of Jesus' final exhortations in the Sermon on the Mount, which is basically a sermon that is turning almost every cultural norm of his day upside down. And in this passage, he is encouraging his listener to focus on the goal of being a disciple. And he says we are to look for the narrow gate. Here, Jesus is pointing out that the goal of discipleship is participation in God's purposes for the world, which is not always the easiest path, certainly not the easiest to find path, and it's definitely not the path laid out for us by society. But Jesus tells us it is always the most life-giving path. The way of discipleship is not the popular or easy way, rather it's countercultural, but it always leads to partaking in God's kingdom, which includes loving and connecting with other people in our community. And Jesus is calling his disciples and us into God's alternative way of living. Henry Nouwen is a Catholic priest and Christian author who writes a lot about living a sacred life in a non-sacred world. One of my favorite quotes by him is, there's a great difference between successfulness and fruitfulness. Success comes from strength and control and respectability. A successful person has the energy to create something, to keep control over its development, and to make it available in large quantities. Success brings many rewards and often fame. Fruits, however, come from weakness and vulnerability, and fruits are unique. A child is the fruit conceived in vulnerability. Community is the fruit born through shared brokenness. And intimacy is the fruit that grows through touching one another's wounds. What brings us true joy is not successfulness, but fruitfulness. And in our gospel reading for today, Jesus uses the metaphor of trees bearing fruit. Jesus says, you'll know a prophet or a disciple by his or her fruit. And Jesus says, are grapes gathered from thorns or figs from thistles? In the same way, every good tree bears good fruit and a bad tree bears bad fruit. And I believe the narrow gate is the path of shared community, sharing our vulnerabilities and weaknesses and loving our neighbor as ourself. But the truth is, is that being successful is hardwired into our American way of being. More perfection, more money, more fame, more things, more strength, more success. We all learn very young not to show any weakness. It is hardwired into our way of being to never look out of control and we hide anything that might make us look weak. But the gospel presents quite the opposite of this understanding. Rather, it's less control, less things, more sharing, more God, more wisdom, and more fruit. Taking the narrow gate, leading a life that is countercultural, just might mean a life in which you are vulnerable with your neighbors, a life of sharing what hurts with others, a life in which you are willing to see what hurts in other people. There is much fruit to be produced by the sharing of your brokenness with one another. And Jesus' grace will abound when we are able to be vulnerable and real with our brothers and sisters. By embracing vulnerability and community, we are not only opening ourselves up to each other, but we are opening ourselves to our larger community that surrounds us. And I think we are also able to embrace ourselves more fully. And by result, embracing more joy, 
and more peace. In Jesus' sermon, he is asking for us to live counterculturally, to do things differently, to be vulnerable with one another and focus on bearing good fruit rather than being focused on success. And I know that at times this can seem scary, but to take the path of the narrow gate is actually the path of life, the path of being connected to one another, being connected to God and filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen.